On this problem here, we want to go through our answer choices and find the graph that gives you the inverse, but we don't have the function to work with. So what we need to do is we need to figure out some key points. Um, this point would be 0, 1. And what, what I want to do is I want to reverse that, and I want a point that goes through 1, 0. Remember, x's and y's switch each other in inverses. We can get a couple other points, too. This would be negative 1, 0. So then I want to go to 0, negative 1. And if you follow the line of reflection, the line of reflection is always going to be y equals x, which is a diagonal line. So it'll go through this point, this line right here. If I can draw that roughly. And so our graph that should be the inverse should be a mirror image over that line. So it's going to hit there, kind of come in a little bit, and then go back out. So we're looking for the graph that basically looks like this. So now that we have a general idea of what it should look like, we can go through our answer choices and find the one that works. Just a quick note to get the cube root, you can actually go into functions and scroll down and you'll see cube root way down here it has that n with the square root symbol. That way you can put a three and you can put x and plus one. As you can see here, this one's a little bit too high. That's centered at 0, 1. So that's not going to really work. So I want it to be down here at 0, negative 1. So we'll go through our answer choices. Taking the time to key them all in, just a little quick note. When you see the 4x is less than or equal to negative 2, you'll want to put those in squiggly brackets. The same thing with the 4x is greater than or equal to 2. So let's go and see if we can find the graph that works. So I'm going to hide that a little bit, make that a little bit bigger, and Let's go through. We've already established the first one doesn't work. So this one doesn't really fit. That one's a little bit off as well. This one is also off. That's not quite right. This one looks very close. So let's just check the other ones to make sure we're not wrong there. That one's, you see if this, look at that point there. That's not where we want that to be. We want that to be right, that center right to be right around there. So that's not going to quite work. That's not good, that's not good, and that's not good. So we're thinking that this one is probably gonna be the one, um, as you can see here, one zero is a good spot there. So that's going to be our answer, the cube root of x minus one.